All right, so the front half of this is just on solving equations. And we've got that. like easy, medium, and difficult. All right, so for this first one, first step, you're gonna subtract 12. So do minus 12, minus 12. You have to make sure you're showing all your steps. Like you have to write all that for me. I My telepathy is malfunctioning, okay? I can't crawl inside your brain and know what you meant to say. So that would give you four X equals, all right, negative eight and negative 12 would give you negative 20. Now, I like the Chromebooks put away while I'm directly teaching because that's a respect thing, but obviously on the test, you'd be allowed a calculator. And then divide by four and X equals negative five. And you got to show all your... All right, so for number two, first step, you're going to subtract seven. So minus seven, minus seven. Be really careful here. It's not three C, it is negative three C. The most commonly missed thing always is negative signs, all the way up through calculus. It's just always negative signs. You gotta be careful. Negative 11 and negative seven would be negative 18. And then you'll divide by negative three. Negatives cancel. And what would you get? Six, positive six. You know what? That bothers you guys more than me. If you're awake and talking to me, I'm happy. Again, on the test, you'll be allowed to calculate. All right, this one has a variable on both sides. So first step, minus 5n, minus 5n. You might need to write kind of small for this one um, to make it fit. I was trying to get the review all on one piece of paper. So that would give you 6. All right, negative eight and negative five would be negative 13. And again, you could type that into Desmos, negative eight minus five equals 19. And then what? I wanna just talk at you. You guys know the steps. What's gonna be next? Yeah, minus six. So that will give you negative 13 and equals 13, good. Divide negative 13. So 13 over 13 would be one. This would just be negative one. Good. And then that last one there is worked out, but you have to find the error and fix it. So let's see, does this second line look okay? Like to get from what's given to the second line, are we okay or is there a problem? There's a problem. Okay, so this is the line where it's wrong. So this second line is where the problem is. It should be 5x and then what? So we're going to fix it. 5x. Minus 3x. That part's right. Why should it be positive 21? Negatives cancel. Okay. And that's it. You just had to fix it. So that's all you got to do. So we corrected it. All right, so now we're on to the intermediate ones, the more difficult, like getting slightly more difficult. Hey guys, what does this bar mean? Division, that means you are going to multiply. Whatever's there, you do the opposite. You're trying to undo what's there. So that would give you T minus seven equals 44. And then plus seven, plus seven, T is 51, thank you. All right, for this one, first step would be plus four, plus four. So that's gonna give you three fourths N equals Thirty. Good. Are you okay over there? Okay. Now, whenever you have a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. What does the word reciprocal mean? You're gonna do flip it. Okay. So you're gonna multiply by four over three to both sides, and what that does is it cancels it out. That's kind of the whole point. You want it to go away. Let me just make up another one. If there was a two over five, you would multiply by five over two, and you would just put this in the calculator. You would type in 30 times four thirds and you would get 40. But do you wanna know how I did that in my head without a calculator? What does this bar mean? 
What's 30 divided by three? 10 times four is 40. But of course you'd be allowed to calculate. All right, next one. Do you see how it's really long? What do we need to put together? Good, what are our like terms? Yeah, 5H and minus 2H. So five minus two is three. So three H, and then you basically copy the rest of it. Here's my pep talk. Sometimes you just need to recopy stuff. Math is like that, so life is like that sometimes. Just recopy it, just don't do a copy error. All right, and then what? Good job, minus 22. See, you know exactly what you're doing. I just need to like force you to focus. All right, so 3H equals, oh, I didn't write that very well, let me fix that. 3H equals uh, negative five and negative 22 would be negative 27, good. Divide by three. Does anyone know that one? It'll be negative nine, good. Negatives are the hardest thing. There's, you gotta be super, super careful. All right, here you would wanna get all the n's together. So minus two n, minus two n. This one got some of you on the quiz that we had done before. What is two minus two? Zero. Zero. So the n's should go away. Like these are all gone. And what you end up with is 17 equals 21. You should go, hey, wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. And if you get something that doesn't make any sense, what's your answer? No solution. And what that means is there is no number in the world that's going to make it true. Go ahead. That's fine. What would it be if you got something that did make sense, like 5 equals 5? Infinite solution. Okay, now we're on to the advanced ones. These ones are going to have parentheses, and that involves distributing. So right here, distribute the six. And again, you're gonna have to write a little bit small. I wanted this to fit on one piece of paper, so you're gonna have to write little, okay? That'll give you six R plus what? When you distribute the six, 12, good. Equals, and then just copy the rest of that. Sometimes life is like that, you can do it. I believe in you. And then you wanna get all the R's together. So it would be minus four R, minus four R. And, and again, this is another prep talk. It's more about organization than anything else. Do you see how I wrote the minus four R underneath the six R? Like I have it lined up. You guys following me on this? The tests are a lot easier for me to grade if all your answers are right. So that's why I try to make sure you guys know what you're doing. All right, that'll give you what? Two. 2R plus 12 equals minus 10, negative 10. And then subtract 12. Again, you're going to have to write kind of small to make it fit. 2R equals, all right, negative 10 and negative 12 would be negative 22. And then divide 2. R would be negative 11, good job. All right, here we're gonna have to distribute a one half. Again, I like the computers put away when I'm going over stuff, but you could always use your calculator. I'm gonna talk you through it though. Hey guys, what's half of two? One, so you would have one A or just A minus, uh, good, how'd you get three? I thought I was gonna have to talk you through that, but you got it. How'd you get three? Half of six, all right? And then you are unfortunately going to just have to recopy everything else that's there. Sometimes life is like that. Hey guys, we got something this long. Now what? Life terms. Life terms. If it looks really, really long, you have to do like terms. That would be your negative three and your plus five. Those are gonna go together. So it would be A plus, what are we gonna get? Two equals the rest of it. Again, sometimes you just have to recopy things. You can do it, I believe in you. You're going to be okay. All right, then what? Yeah, minus three A, again, you'll have to write kind of small and see how I lined it up. I lined the A's up together. It's not really about being smart, it's about staying organized. What would that give us? You have one A minus three A. It will end up negative. Good, negative two A plus two, equals, oh, this is tricky. This is why this is on the advanced section of this. 
What's on the other side? Negative six. I'm gonna run out of space on this one. All right, and then what? Negative two. Yep, minus two. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna get negative two A equals negative eight. Negative six and negative two gives you negative eight. Again, I'm sorry about the lack of space. I was trying to put it on one page. Oh, why is it positive? Because two negatives don't more negatives. <laughs> Whenever you multiply or divide, two negatives are gonna cancel out. So for this one, you're gonna distribute not a three, but a negative three. Good, so that will be minus 12x, and then negative three times one will be negative three equals, and then basically you have to recopy that. Hey guys, we got something that's really super long. Now we're going to combine our life terms together. What's gonna go together on this side? What two things will combine? Good, 12 minus three is nine. So you get nine minus 12 X equals nine minus 12 X. Then you're gonna stop and use your brain and look up here. What do you think? We got nine minus 12 X equals nine minus 12 X. It is infinite solutions. Because you got something that makes sense. The same thing equals the same thing. So that's infinite solutions. If you get something that doesn't make any sense, then it's no solution. So actually, I can't really show you how to check that one. All right, and then this one, you're gonna have to set it up yourself four times. Okay, so you're gonna have a four. The sum, what does sum mean? Addition, and it means you're also gonna need parentheses. So put parentheses, sum of, now what's gonna go in the parentheses? Three times a number and five. So that would be three X plus five. And then what? Read the rest of it. Equals eight. Listen to me. If you lose your mind on the test, make up an equation and solve it. Because even if this part's wrong, if your steps are correct, I can give you credit for that part. All right, we're gonna distribute the four. Multiplying by four, that'll give you 12X plus 20 equals eight. All right, then what? Yeah, minus 20. So 12X equals uh, eight minus 12, good, would be negative 12, thank you. And then divide by 12, x equals negative one. All right, so go ahead and flip over. So this next section are solving proportions. You're going to cross multiply. So you can draw your x in there and just make sure you use parentheses where you need them. So you would have five times parentheses x plus two. And then what comes next that I like really hammered hard when we went over this, that I'm like, this is equals. That is the most commonly missed thing that people leave out is the equal sign. All right, equals and then six times three, 18. Perfect. And from there, you just solve it. So that's really the only step that's any different from what we were doing on the other side. Distribute the five. That'll be five X plus 10. Sorry, I'm gonna speed that part up because I feel like that's the part we are probably good on. Minus 10, minus 10. What is eight divided by five? It's eight divided by five, guys. You would leave it alone, eight fifths. You can type it in the calculator if you want to, but it's gonna come out to a decimal. So I would just leave it as eight over five. You got to get used to that. Like if it doesn't come out to a whole number, just leave it alone. It's actually easier because you just do nothing. All right. And then this one, go ahead and draw your X. You're going to need some parentheses on this. It's going to be six times parentheses B plus five, put parentheses around that. And then what comes next? Equals. Good. Sorry. I'm, like you're like, why is she being so hateful? Because people leave out the equals. 
all right, equals, and then you'd have four and then parentheses b plus nine. Good. And from there, you're going to just solve it. Um, you do need to distribute on both of those. So it would be six b plus what? What would we get? Thirty. Good. Hey, can you guys focus over there? I want you to do well on your test equals, and then this side would give you 4b plus, good, 36. Then you have to get all of the b's together. I kind of don't like when it's b. Yeah, right. 4b. I don't know, it can look like a six. That kind of bothers me. You can always change it to x. If you don't like the letter of the alphabet that got chosen, you can always change it to x. All right, that would give you 2b plus 30 equals 36. Minus 30, minus 30. You get 2b equals 6. And then divide by 2, b equals 3. Question, go ahead. You ha forgot how to what? Wait, are you, okay, well, that sounds like a personal problem. All right, this one we're going to have to write on our own. Miss Cole's van requires five gallons of gas to travel 120 miles. So you have two things. You have oh. gas and you have miles. Do you remember us writing that off to the side so you remember what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom? It doesn't matter which one goes where, you just have to be consistent. So you're gonna have five over 120 equals and then I don't want to read the rest of it to you because that teaches you to not read. I want you to read and figure out what's going to go where. 350 and then mile. In the mile spot. Good. So 350 goes on the bottom. X. Good. And you can pick whatever letter of the alphabet you want, but try to pick X. I mean, that just makes it easy. And then we're going to cross multiply. So when you cross this way, it's going to be five times 350. I'm just going to type that into Desmos real quick. So five times 350, 1,750. I just put that in the calculator. Equals, and then what's going to be on the other side? 120x, good. Good. Divide by 120. I'm going to type that in. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Are you, are you going to estimate? Estimating is a good skill to have. Oh, that was close. We'll say 14.6. It came out to 14.58. So we'll say 14.6. What? Because if it is a word problem, you need to put units. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't say 14.6 gas. I guess we would say gallons. There we go. What happened there? Uh, there's a bug sitting on Oh, did you kill it? Kill the bug? I used my left. Oh. <laughs> okay. These next ones I know are not your favorite, these literal equations, because it looks like the alphabet threw up on your paper. Just remember, whatever's there, do the opposite and then leave it all alone. You're just gonna do a lot of recopying and leave everything alone. Do you see how there's a plus? That means you're gonna do what? Minus, minus four X, minus four X. So that is gonna give you three Y equals, leave it alone. What goes on the other side? Yeah, if it says nine minus four X, you're just gonna write nine minus four X. Like that's literally it. And then you do have one more step. Three is being multiplied to the Y. So how do you undo multiply? Divide. And you will leave it alone. Your last step, I know it's annoying, but you're just going to recopy that. And that's your answer. Just do nothing. The only way you can mess it up is if you like do anything. Just don't do anything. Leave it all alone. And then we have one more of these. How I know it looks like alphabet soup. How do you cancel out a one half? Well, what does this bar mean? Uh, that means divide. So we would want to do multiply. multiply. So multiply both sides by two. That is what will cancel it out. 
Can you focus for me for a little bit longer and then we'll play a game, okay? That's gonna give you 2A equals B times H. What variable were we trying to get by itself? H, okay, so you would wanna divide by B and then leave it alone. Literally just recopy it, this is your answer. So I know those aren't super fun, but there's only two of them on the test. So it's not like a large portion of it. And then the last thing we did were the inequalities. This is the exact same thing as an equation, except that if you divide by a negative, you flip the symbol around, okay? Um, maybe for the sake of time, I won't do every single one of these. Let me skip this first one because I think that'll be easier. Let's jump straight to this one. What would you do to both sides to get the R's all together? Minus seven R, good, thank you. We lost the ability to use words over here. <laughs> All right, so 13 R minus seven R, that'll be six R minus 11 greater than 37. The other common mistake that happens with these, and I totally get why this happens, is that people will change that to an equal sign. Just try not to let that happen. All right, plus 11 plus 11, six R is greater than 48, and then last step, divide by six. So does anyone know that one? If not, I'll tell you, eight. And you would be allowed a calculator. R is greater than eight. Let's draw a number line. What's the only number you need on your number line? Hey, can I go ahead and say this? On the quiz, and I said the only number you need is whatever number it comes out to, and I still let people not put that number. Like it was blank. Please at least give me that number. All right, and then what kind of circle, open or closed? Open, because there's not an equal to. And then which way are we shading, left or right? right? Okay, hey guys, can you give me an example of a number that's part of the answer? 10 is good, what else? Nine, how about 14 million, 300. Um, is eight part of the answer? No, go ahead. William to a third pound. All right, um, again, for the sake of time, let's just jump straight to this word problem. A parking garage charges $5 to get in. All right, so it's gonna be five plus, and I want you guys to read. I don't wanna read it to you because then you won't read. What's gonna come next? 1.50x. 1.50x, good. And then you only have $15. Less than or equal to 15. Good, you can't spend more than what you have. And then we're going to work that out. So minus five, minus five. So 1.50 less than or equal to 10. And then divide by 150. And I will type that in the calculator so that we can all see that. So we'll say 6.7 is what that came out to, six and two thirds. So we'll say 6.7 is what this came out to. But if you don't have enough money for the seventh hour, how many hours can you stay? You can only stay six hours. You still have to round down. Even though mathematically it would round up, you don't have enough money for the next hour. So you still have to round down. That's a lot of hours. Yeah, well, if you were going to spend the whole day somewhere, I mean, you'd have to park there the whole day. Okay. Um, we'll work out this one and then we'll just set up the last one. All right. Here, do you see that negative? Yeah. It's really a negative one and you're going to have to distribute negatives are the most commonly missed focus with me for just a couple more minutes here guys you can do it so that's going to be eight c and then what if you distribute the negative one no positive it'll be minus one c good and then plus five and then you have to just recopy the rest of it you can do it okay hey what like terms are going to go together 8C and good, minus one, perfect. So eight minus one, seven C, and then just copy the rest of it. 
All right, and then you're gonna minus C, minus C. You need to get all of the C's together. What'd you say? Uh -huh. Quiet. Huh. Hey, what is this gonna give us? Um, Six C, good. Plus five greater than or equal to 17. I'm sorry for the lack of space. Again, I wanted to make it all fit. Minus five, minus five. I'm gonna come over here. You would have six C greater than 12. No, don't change it to an equals. C is greater than two. I'm gonna just draw a number line on the board so you can see this. What kind of circle would two get? Open. Open, and we're gonna shade which way? Right. To the right. Can you give me a number that's part of the answer? Three. Four. Four, five. 28. Okay. Yeah. Now let's set this one up. Four times a number. How would you write that? Four X. Quiet. Less eight. That would mean minus eight is at least. Okay. If I told you you have to be at least this tall to get on the ride, you have to be that much or more. If you need at least $20 to get in somewhere, you need $20 or more. So what symbol is going to go there? Greater than or equal to five times the number. So 5x. I don't know, forget it. Here, let's work that one out real quick. You would do minus 4x because the x ends up on the other side for this one. So let's just work that out real quick because I know that's that's tricky. You would have negative eight greater than or equal to X. But when you go to flip that around the other way, because usually you want the X starting. So it would be X is less than or equal to negative eight. Ooh, what kind of circle would that one get? The closed and less than or equal to means to the left. Oh, can you give me a number that's part of the answer? That's tricky because it's negative. <laughs> Good. Negative nine. Negative 10, negative 20 million. I forgot you 